To make your mermaid doll, you're going to need some wooden clothes pins, or they're also called doll pegs. I like this one better because it is curved on the bottom and it reminds me a little bit of a fish's tail already. So you could use either one. If you have this one at home, use it. Um, if you can find this kind, use this kind instead. You're also going to need some permanent markers to draw on your wooden clothespin. If you don't have permanent marker and you want to use regular marker, you can, but you will need to cover it with either Mod Podge or a thin down white glue. And that will just keep the marker from rubbing off on your hands or anything else. You're going to need some embroidery floss, one skein per doll. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, an ultra fine Sharpie marker. And I have a piece of cardboard that's just about three inches long. That's to wrap the hair, the embroidery floss around. You can use your hand, but I find the cardboard easier to use. Finally, you're gonna need some felt for the tail. I found this really pretty sparkly blue felt. And then this felt I found at the craft store and it looks just like a mermaid tail. So pretty. And I have some leftover green glitter felt as well. So I can use any of those. If you have craft foam, you could use that instead. Whatever you have that you can use for the tail. That's it for our basic supplies. Here are some optional supplies to make your mermaid extra fancy. I have this gold paint pen, which I used to make scales on my mermaid. I have some glitter I could add to the tail. I have some sequins I could use either to make the bikini top or just to decorate my mermaid. Pearls, little flowers I could use for her hair. I have some gold gems and I have some pipe cleaners I can use if I wanted to make arms for my mermaid. If I had little shells, I could use those as well for my mermaid. So look around your house for any extra things you have that can make your mermaid super fancy. To start decorating your mermaid, you need to pick the side that is solid without the slot. And then we're going to draw a face on our mermaid. So I'm gonna use my Sharpie and I'm going to Give her some eyes and a mouth and I might just do this kind of so it looks more like eyes. So there, there's my face right there. And now I need to draw on her. So I know that the fin part or the tail is gonna come up here, kind of where the end of the slot is. I can make it a little higher if I wanted to. And I need to give her a bikini top. So I'm gonna draw some shell shapes on here. So just sort of a circle that comes in. Like the C and then a flat bottom. And I'm gonna go around the back. And I'm gonna go over this with the marker. This is just kind of, so if I need to change it, I can. So there's her bikini top. Go over my pencil with my 
maka Give it a little belly button. Okay, so now I can go ahead and color it in. And I want to use my dark blue felt for the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and find a marker that kind of matches. Where's that one? Maybe this one. I'm going to go ahead and color her tail. <laughs> Okay, so there is my doll, and she's ready for me to cut out the tail for her. But before I do the tail, now is the time to add glitter to this part, or if I wanted to use my paint marker here, I could draw scales on my fin part. I have some glitter glue, and I'm going to use that and go over the tail part. Okay, there's my mermaid tail. It's nice and sparkly. I've got a plastic container up here. So I'm just going to set her on my plastic container and let her dry and then I'll come back and make the tail for her. All right, the glue on this mermaid has dried. You can see the sparkles on it. So it's time to make the tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my piece of scrap paper in here and then decide what I want the tail shape to look like. I think it's gonna probably come out before the end of the clothespin and make a sort of C shape, a little bit like a lobster claw there. Let's see, what do I think? Does that look pretty good? Mark the middle of the clothespin so you'll know where to fold your paper. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold this in half and cut out my shape. see what I think if I like that shape. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to get my blue felt that I have and I need to cut two of these out. So I'm going to fold the felt and put my fin on. And there's a couple ways I can do this. I could use a straight pin like this to hold it down onto the felt. I could also use some double stick tape to hold the pattern down while I'm cutting it out. A straight pin really works the best. 
but if you don't have a straight pin or you don't want, your parents don't want you using a straight pin, you can use the double stick tape. Make sure I got sparkles on both sides and then we'll just try it. Okay, looks good to me. What do you think? All right, so I'm going to take this and put some glue in here to glue the pieces together. To, to attach this to my mermaid, I am going to put glue Don't worry if any of it um, shows because the glue will dry clear. There's my mermaid and there's her tail. Now that I've got the fin on my mermaid and her tail is all done, I get to make her hair. So I can decide what color I want and I think I'm going to go with this pink color here because it'll match her bikini top with the shells. So I have my little piece of cardboard here that's three inches and I'm going to cut off about three to four inches of the floss. I'm just going to add it there kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to hold on to here and I'm going to wind this around the cardboard. <laughs> Alright, you can do the whole skein. You will need at least 15 turns around the cardboard. But the more turns you have, the more hair your mermaid will have. I'm going to tie this in the middle right here. Give it a good solid knot. Then I'm going to slip it off the cardboard and I'm going to find the other end here. And I'm going to cut it right there. So there's my mermaid hair. And to attach it to my mermaid, I'm going to take my tacky glue and I'm just going to put glue on the back of her head and on the sides and the top of her head there. Then to attach her hair, I'm going to find the spot where I want to put it. And I'm going to just make sure that it's all attached here in the back. So it covers all the glue in the back. Now I'm using tacky glue. If you wanted to use a hot glue gun, you could. But you need to ask your parents permission for that. So there's her lovely bright pink hair to go with her costume. And when it dries, I can comb out her hair. I could take a few of them here in the front and try and give her bangs. 
maybe I want to cut a couple of these and see if I can do bangs for her. Do it however you want. I can gussy her up. I could put a spangle in her hair. I have some of these flowers. I could attach a flower to her hair if I wanted to. I could put a seashell in her hair. It's up to you, however you want to decorate her. But that's my mermaid. So I have my mermaid and my merman ready to go. I'm going to make a merman clothes pendal. So I'm going to draw my face on this solid side, not on here. some hair sort of surfer hair in your eyes here alright and I wanted to have surfer hair so there's my guy and I'm gonna do just like I did with the other one. Though I think maybe I'll give him a green tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this part down here green. Here is my merman doll that I made. And I just used my gold paint marker, my Sharpie gold paint marker here to make dots and scales on him. And I've cut out two pieces of the sparkly green felt and glued them together. Now I just need to put some glue on the pieces here. And then glue them in the slot and he'll be all set. There's his fin and he's just let that dry and he's all set, ready to go. I was thinking though that I might give him a shark tooth necklace. There we go. There's his shark tooth. And I've got the silver here so I'm just gonna put a little silver in it. There we go. He's all set and ready to go. Here are all the mermaids I made. I went a bit crazy trying them all. Some of them you saw me make, but here are some others. For this mermaid, I used some washi tape to make a little bandeau bikini top, and I gave her some fun asymmetrical hair. She's my little rocker mermaid. I gave this one some bangs and a little seashell hat. And she has a washi tape bon bandeau bikini top. This mermaid has a little seashell as her hat. Very beautiful. This merman has our shark tooth necklace. This mermaid over here has a little flower in her hair. And this merman has a seashell hat as well. Some of them I put glitter on their tails. Others just have like a silver marker. And these are just glass stones with pearls. If you have translucent plastic beads, you could use those to make a little playscape for your mermaids. 
I also have some big shells. You could use those for a bed for your mermaid as well. Have fun just getting creative and thinking of all the ways you can make and decorate your mermaids. Cheers!